everyone. Welcome to the episode in the React Foundation series. In this episode right here, I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect to our API that we we're developing in the previous episode in the Rails API series. So here we are. Uh, if we take a look at the code that we have, uh, we are using a hard-coded uh, data source here. And so what we really want to do is we want to switch over to um, using the API. So basically, we want to be able to create a contact, have it saved in the database, and all that stuff. So uh, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna, in the stores directory here, I'm going to create a new directory called uh, collections. And then I'm going to create a new folder called models. So let me explain a little bit about the difference between models and collections. So when I have a collection, collections are uh, what I would use when I'm dealing with uh, you know, a collection of stores. Like for example, um, in this case of contacts, I'm dealing with a lot of contacts. Uh, let's relate this back to the UI and see how that works. So localhost 8080. So here we are with the front end app that we had from before. And basically, here we are, we have this collection of contacts over here. But when we click into the individual contact, then we're working with the, diff the individual model. Uh, so I find that, you know, based on my previous experience, having two uh, separate stores for collections and, and models, um, you know, helps clean up the code and keep the code concise uh, in the stores. So that's what we're going to be doing. All right, so here we are. I'm going to move the contacts into the collection, and then I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave uh, you know this one empty for now. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove all of this stuff here, and just do a uh, observable. All e is an array, and I'm also going to do observable uh, is loading equals false. All right, so why do I have this is loading? So because we're going to be making a synchronous request using um, isomorphic fetch. So fetch is uh, pre-built into most uh, modern browsers now. And so what we're going to be doing is basically we're going to be using fetch. So we don't not even going to use the jQuery Ajax call anymore. Uh, and basically what we're going to do is I'm going to have an action uh, fetch all. And basically this function is going to be interfacing with the API endpoint uh, and retrieving the data for us. So here I'm going to um, I'm going to do a um, let's do a fetch call. So um, response Also I want to be using uh, a sync await. So here is where we put HTTP, localhost 3000, uh, v1 contacts. So we're going to clean this up a little bit later. But for now, uh, this will work just fine. So basically, what we're doing is, uh, in this case, uh, we also want to do um, this dot is loading, equal false. And then here, uh, we're going to get the status equals await response.status. And basically, this is going to return us a status code. And if the status equals 200, we're going to set the this dot um, response. Sorry, this dot all equals um, response dot JSON. So basically, we're going to set the you know the re returning JSON to the all uh, over here. So let's try this out. Uh, I'm going to head over into the collection over here, and basically, what we're going to do is we're going to do a, uh, a component. We're using the lifecycle function in React. So component will mount. So I'm going to issue the you know the using this um, collection over here. This contacts. Uh, we're going to basically make the call to fetch all to trigger the browser to go and actually make that call in our application. 
So uh, before everything, I need to set up the store correctly. So right now we have the stores. Uh, I need to make sure that the stores is referencing the correct uh, location. So collections slash contacts. So that should be okay for now. All right, so let's try this out. So this.props.contacts.fetch all. And then uh, I'm sure something must have broke because that was uh, quite a bit of change. So there we go, we don't have anything, but let's look at the inspect um, over here to see if it's made the, look, uh, the, the fetch or not. Um, okay, so no access. So it actually made the request. If um, I here we go. Uh, it's just saying that basically it's not allowing cores. Um, so basically that's cross origin request. So what we need to do is on our back end, we need to set up uh, the cores on our back end in order to allow our back end to be able to uh, you know, receive requests from anywhere. Because generally a Rails app uh, will uh, accept, will not accept the request uh, by default. So um, for now, we're going to pause over here. Uh, we set up some, uh, you know, like the fetch all method. We moved our uh, contacts into the collection folder and we set our things up a little bit differently. Uh, and so what we're going to do is we're gonna, in, the, in the next episode, we're going to switch back to the Rails API, fix up the cores, uh, and then, uh, you know, fix up the cross or, uh, origin request uh, stuff. And then we're going to hop right back here to check out uh, this, the working response. All right, guys, if you haven't already subscribed and become a member, become a member. It's only nine bucks a month. Um, if you're already a member, thank you. We appreciate your support. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next episode.